I saw you with some clippers. Giving yes. the horsey a little shape. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Can you trim me up? That's right. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so stupid. <laughs> I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Catch me howling at the moon Motion DSP has been supporting the law enforcement industry for over 15 years with their robust suite of video and audio redaction and enhancement software. Forensic enhancement software allows users to quickly process any video file format using patented super resolution algorithms and enhancement filters. Get forensically valid evidence from low quality video in minutes instead of hours. In just three easy steps, import, enhance, and export. Spotlight was built specifically for redaction and was designed to work with video from any camera source. Using the motion DSP algorithms and object tracking technology, Spotlight automates the process of blurring faces and other identifiable information, saving users countless hours compared to the manual frame-by-frame -frame redaction. And I can tell you, it takes forever to blur faces. All right, so here's the free stuff. Motion DSP is offering the Not Squad members a special offer of a free one-week trial and 10% off any annual subscription with code NOD10. That's NOD10. If you'd like to know more about this awesome software that streamlines your workflow, click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to the video. camera change. Today, we're gonna be, hold on, let me get this, uh, make sure I get that police car's hat in there. Oh, plug. Fitzpearl.com. Today on Police Vlogs, we're gonna be hanging out with Davie Police Department and their mounted patrol unit. We have an officer standing by right behind those gates that kind of look like Jurassic Park a little bit. Uh, she's waiting for us to meet you guys and give you a rundown of what the mounted patrol duties are and what they entail, how to be on mounted patrol, all that good stuff. We're gonna talk about it in this video, and then we're actually gonna go out to an event with them. Now, let's just address the, uh, the gold elephant in the room. Yes, I got a new car. If you have been following me on my other socials, you see I got me a little fusion back there, a little hybrid. You know, gas these days, gas these days. I still have the nod rod. He's at home just resting, or should I say she's at home just resting, uh, waiting to be brought out, but enough of that. Let's uh, go ahead in and meet the Davy Police Mountain Patrol unit. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're doing something a little different. Gonna be checking out those police horses. Idea behind police vlogs is check out as many agencies as we can and what they have to offer. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and don't forget to stick to the end where we got a sneak peek of the next episode. I think you're gonna like How it. How are you? How you doing? Good, good. How's it going? Good, good, great. Nice I'm, to see you. Nice to meet you as well and nice to see you as well. Love the hat. Thank you so much. All right, dude. Well, here. <laughs> let's get right into it. Let's get started. You want to introduce yourself to the audience? Yes, I'm Officer Angela Creel with the Davy Police Department Mounted Unit. All right, and can I call you Angela? Yes, yes you may Can please. I call you Angie, Mangie, Momangi, Banana? Mm, whatever fits. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on with the Davy Police Department for almost 19 years now. In the Mounted Unit for about seven and a half years now. Seven and a half years. Yes. Are you the longest running Mounted member? Indeed I am. Usually that's who they send out to talk. Yes. The most experienced. This may be good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> we have four full-time officers and one part-time, which is my sergeant. He's also the in um, charge of the canine unit as well as the mounted unit. Oh. So he has a horse as well, and he is a part-time rider with us. I like your boots. When there's an opening within the unit, one would um, put an email in and expressing their interest to be in uh, the unit. Yeah. And once they do, they will hold interviews for the selected slot and a person would interview with the unit and we pick who is the best uh, candidate for the unit. So do you have to have 
experience, writing experience to be? On? No, you do no? not. So I apply to be in the mounted unit. Correct. I get in because you guys like me. I mean, I don't have the hat like that, but. Uh, well, he's Is that soon issued? Will. Is that issued? <laughs> you get one when you get the unit? That is correct. Oh, We wear yes. these out riding um, here in South Florida. You obviously know it is extreme heat and sun. Yes. So this um, hat keeps the sun off our face and ears and, and helps with that as well. And it looks good too. How long does it take usually for someone to get proficient in riding? Each person's different. Um, so we base and we evaluate um, each person um, as they go through the training. Yep. Training could be anywhere from two months to four months. It could also be a month. It just kind of depends um, how fast the person learns and how um, they learn the job skill set that okay. they're going to need to use um, out on the streets with these um, partners. Because it's not just riding around and, and tipping your hats and howdy y'all. That's correct. That's a correct. A lot deep. of the mounted unit is community policing, but again, you're still a police officer, so now you're a police officer on a horse mm -hmm. so now you have to be able to be a police officer on horse yeah. and be able to control that 15 2,000 pound animal there you go man thanks for your service all right bye guys This is our barn that the horses, um, we keep the horses in. Okay. Each night the horses will go outside into their own paddocks. And each morning ourselves, our barn assistant will bring them in so that they can eat their grain and we are able to get them out afterwards and start prepping them for their care. The importance of keeping the horses clean is it maintains their health and it also makes them look good. Just like we drive a police cruiser, we want to make our horses and our partners spit shine and ready to look good on the street. I saw you with some clippers. Giving yes. the horsey a little shave. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Can you turn me up? That's right. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Looking good. My name is Lieutenant Scott Leon. I'm uh, in charge of the Special Operations Unit here at Davy Police. That encompasses the K-9 unit, the traffic unit, the school resource officers, the community policing, as well as the mounted unit that you're featuring here today. LT, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And that is your son? This is my son, Matt. He's hanging out with me today. We got the day off. All right. So, all right, are you subscribed? I just did. Let's go! Good morning, Sarge. Well time you got here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Sarge, what's going on? Yeah, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> and this is his horse, uh, Titan, uh, that, and his partner that he rides. All right, what's up, Titan? And then we have uh, one of my partners, Officer Groneveld, with his partner, Charlie. Good morning. What's up? And this is my partner, Rich Spradling, and his partner, Stetson. Good morning. Good morning. And then we have Officer Pena with his partner, Jackson. Good morning. Jackson, all right. And last but not least, this is Oki, my partner. I'm a little biased, but he's but the best one. He's the best one, save the best for last. What's up, Oki? <laughs> all right. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Quieres venir a saludar? Si quieres, si, ven, ven por acá. Si? Se llama Stetson. Is this is the horsey's home in here? Yes, this is one of our stalls that they are housed in. And you can see they have two waters of bucket, your feed, and their porter grazer, which contains their hay. Okay. Nice shavings bedded, and they also have a run out should they want to go outside and stretch their leg a little bit. Oh, so like a little backyard area. Yes. Each of our stalls are also equipped with fans and also a mister for the fly sprayer. Horses come in, they get washed, and then... They get saddled and ready to uh, go out and ride for the day. As you can see here, uh, Ryan and Rich uh, prepping their horses. Jackson just got his pad on. He's now getting his saddle uh, put on. And then Ryan is going to walk around, get his girth, attach it to the saddle, which then goes underneath the horse and is secured on the left side of the horse, which is what keeps the saddle on while you're riding. I see some bags and stuff over there. Is that where you keep your ticket book? Yes. <laughs> I keep my supplies, snacks, and so forth. Um, oh, okay. And here. Strictly snacks and stuff. Strictly snacks. <laughs> is that for the horse or is that for you? It's both. Okay. On this side is um, I keep an emergency kit in case something um, were to happen. Right. I also keep um, some supplies in here um, for the horse. Um, Oki drinks a lot of water, so I keep a portable bucket in here for him as well in case we need to stop for water. On the other side is a insulated cooler, so I will keep my cold waters and any type of snacks I want to take for the day. And then this pack right up here, I keep my rain jacket in case it rains. Uh... Hey, how are you guys? Horses come from many different places. It kind of depends on the situation and the timing. 
Uh, we do purchase our horses and we will put out feelers through people that we've purchased before and or with the public. We go and we will check out any horses that might fit our unit and our process is we bring them in for a 30 day trial period and make sure they're a good fit for our unit. And if they are, then we will go ahead and putting through for the purchase. What makes a good police horse? In my opinion, what yeah. makes a good police horse is a horse that is docile, who has got a very chill and calm presence and aura. If they were happen to be afraid of something, that they deal with that in a, in a way that they're not going to harm you or anyone else around them. Yes, because horses are fun, but they are dangerous as a rider, right? That's correct. And you're talking about anywhere from a 1,200 to 2,000 pound animal. So loud noises, because obviously working in law enforcement, there might be a bang or something. Absolutely, and we do a lot of desensitization training. We get them used to um, shooting off of them, loud bangs, traffic, crowds of people, um, things that might be uh, thrown at them or waved in their face. Uh, we do we training every day. Yeah, All that's right. what I was gonna say, like backfires from cars Absolutely. when they're driving. They, you Absolutely. can't have a horse that's um, a little timid. That is that correct. Side. That awesome. is correct. Can I take a picture? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Can you put your hand on him too, right? There you go. <laughs> You're so welcome. Hey. This is our big training arena that we use, um, obviously for the purpose because it has a lot of room in here. You can put a lot of horses. Sometimes we train with different agencies and we invite them to our home, our barn, and being able to have this big arena to have many horses in here marching along with each other is a great asset to us. Right now they are practicing formation riding and we use that for any type of crowd control maneuvers or anything that we're in large crowds and we need to move through. Um, we also use this when any type of uh, events or processions if we need to maneuver the horses to different areas. And uh, it's important for you guys to train together like that? Absolutely, we need all the horses working together, being close to each other, the horses you know, touching each other and getting used to being touched and bouncing off of each other. It is very important. It's again, desensitization training and it's also being able to work with our equal partners in close quarters. And in fact, right now they're doing a right oblique, which is going to um, move over to the fence. So if we had a crowd over there that's to the fence, we would be able to then take and push that crowd and move them out of the way. We are called the 10 foot tall officers. Um, and the reason for that is, is because when we're on horseback, we're much, much taller. We can see very much further into a crowd of people and identify you know, any type of issues or problems as they're going on. Or if we have a lost person or a missing child, we're able to see a lot further than an officer that's on the ground. Do you guys answer calls for service? Absolutely. If we're out patrolling in an area or a shopping center and an alarm comes out or a shoplifting comes out, which has happened um, on many different uh, times, then we will assist or we will handle the calls. When you get to the call, are you just walk in the store with the horse or how does that work? <laughs> Usually, <laughs> Usually we'll wait till they come out. Uh -huh. uh, Oki here has been known to maybe walk into Home Depot now and then, but uh, <laughs> Oki. <laughs> he, he's no uh, no stranger to AC. <laughs> Horses obviously don't go inside the stores, yeah. so if we were to come up with any type of uh, shoplifting or a medical call or something, we're going to wait for the person to come out. Um, or we could dismount, our partners could hold our horse for us and one of us go in and make contact. Or if they come out of the store, or come out of whatever, you know, their house or whatever, you know, event that we're dealing with and we have to get down, you know, generally we, we have um, ways and options that we can do that as well. Since we would simply just dismount, we carry our lunge lines, we would tuck it into our gun belt and we, I have my hands free to deal with whoever I need to um, deal with. You know, we teach our horses to stand here and and what we call a ground tie basis so that, you know, generally don't want them to move. And obviously you're not wearing your gun belt now, but if you were um, on patrol, you'd, be, you'd have a duty belt on with That's all That's correct, your, duty your... belt and vest as well. Where do you put the bad guy when you're done? We call for a um, patrol unit uh -huh. and they go right in the back of their car. There's no double riding with us. I had to ask, you know they're <laughs> gonna ask in the comments. You know they're gonna ask in the comments. <laughs> And this is their this is their ride. Yes, this is their sweet ride. They got a four horse uh, trailer to ride into. Today we're going to be taking two to the parade. Uh, load sets it up. Buckle his horse seatbelt. Make sure he's safe. Safety first. So there is a seatbelt. Yes, 
there is. Because I always wonder if they just, if they're back there swaying back and forth. Absolutely not. They've got a hook that goes on their halter, mm -hmm. and then they have these panels that swing shut, and we'll kind of close them in so they're not bouncing around. Some fans up top. Yes. The horses. Each horse, the has, each horse has a fan up top. We put an extra little double seat belt in, just in case. And on this side, this is where we keep some of our tack saddles and bridles. And then if we walk over this way, this is our bigger tack room. And this is our tack room. We keep some of our supplies here. And any of our supplies up there. And then some supplies here on the side with some hooks. All right. Wait, what? I said I follow you on Instagram. You follow me on Instagram? <laughs> So as the event was ending, Officer Creel and Officer Spradling met up with the rest of the Mountain Patrol unit. They headed into the downtown area to finish out their ship. So if you're interested in becoming a Davy police officer or maybe one day riding those horses on patrol, you can visit davy-fl.gov and apply today. What did you guys just do? We just did a typical day in Davy, out uh, riding our horses, meeting with the community and interacting with them. I saw that and we went over to the Flashback Diner. Yes. Smelled delicious, you can't smell it on camera, but smelled delicious. So if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? We got tons more content coming out before the end of the year, like our trip to the Wheeling factory to find out how police lights are actually made and the secret reveal that's coming up in about 30 seconds. With that being said, all right, there's only one thing left to do, and we got to sign off. So do you know a sign off? I do not. I didn't think so. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you. She nailed it. Then I'll see you. Bernard Squad represent. Eh? What about that mountain unit? Pretty awesome. Pretty uh, cool to see that side of police work that you really don't get to see every day. Shout out to Davey Police. Hey, do you guys have any horses? No, but we got Mustangs. Try to catch me all in that tomorrow